I'm back. Um, all right, I bought a tripod, so let's see. Sometimes it doesn't stand up. We'll see if I can get it to stand. Okay, perfect. Hi, Dragon. Um, okay, so where did I leave off? Tons of things have happened that I wasn't able to get on film. I did film like two vlogs and Hi. I love you. I filmed two vlogs that I was unable to edit and get up for various reasons and then I was doing homework and stuff and so I just could not put my attention onto filming or editing or anything for a minute. I also had to get a new laptop. Uh, long story short, my old laptop couldn't, I couldn't upload videos to YouTube directly from Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro, I couldn't update because I couldn't, it wouldn't work with the OS system I had, but I couldn't update to the newest OS system because the computer was too old. Long story short. Then the battery went out, so literally the laptop would maybe work for an hour while it wasn't plugged in. And that led to me discovering, well, thinking I had a problem with my inverter. Um, I have a modified sine wave inverter, not a pure sine wave inverter. Now, if you don't know anything, get the pure sine wave. I did not know there was a difference, so I just got whatever thousand watt inverter I could find that was cheapest. Well, it was cheapest because it was the modified sine wave. So when I have stuff plugged into it, it buzzes, which it turns out it's supposed to because that's the, that's your like computer or whatever you have plugged in trying to create a solid current instead of the waves of current in a modified sine wave inverter. So I'm still going to be able to use it for now, but I definitely need to invest in a pure sine wave inverter because I don't want to ruin my computer that I just spent money on that I was hoping not to have to send any money on right now. So that happened. We've been living in the van for a few weeks now, but we've been at my mom's house or I'll drive it to my grandma's house. Like I've been in really safe locations. I haven't been, you know, in nature or anything like that. I could have been, but um, Dragon is doing just fine. We go on walks outside with the leash. So for people who <clears throat> com commented, they think it's like cruel or something. I can't think of what else has been going on. We're going back into lockdown here in Minnesota pretty much. So <sighs> say hi. <laughs> So, um, that's another reason why I haven't really been traveling because there's not really anything to do. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do now is head west because I'm going to go see my best friend in California and that, I mean, if I can't do anything on the way because of lockdowns and various things, that's just fine. I need to try really hard not to get sick anyways for my family for the holidays and also because I don't want to get my friend and her family sick or anything. So yeah, um, this will just be a fun little trip. It's always like tipping over his food bowls. So there's food everywhere. I need to get like a better non spill system, but I had just had those. And so I used them and now I just keep using them. Let's see. So yesterday I did all my dishes and of course he goes right in there. Um, I emptied out my gray water tank and I filled my fresh water tank, which <sighs> oh, he always gets into everything. No, no. <laughs> He's trying to drink water out of my tank. Um, he can't reach it. Don't worry. But yeah, and then I filled up these two, which is right in front of the heater. I filled up two of these gallons of drinking water. So I'll just use these for, yeah, drinking. And then I, I fill up 
my fresh water usually with a hose this time I was able to fill it in the house so I could drink out of it but I try not to I just use that one for like washing dishes and brushing my teeth and stuff um, the gray water tank I need to empty more because it didn't smell or anything like I kept trying to be conscious if it was gonna start smelling but after I emptied it, it like first of all it looked disgusting and then I emptied it and it it did smell so gray water tank needs to be emptied frequently I need to remember that this is sort of my corner where everything starts accumulating. I have this cat tower, which I don't love having it because it's just an additional thing. But the cat really likes it. So now I don't want to take it away because he likes it. And then when I'm driving, I kind of just have stuff I shove in the little step so it doesn't fly around. The cat is in between the bed and there's like a space back there. And he climbs up the curtains. Dragon! <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Alright, we're ready to go! Are you ready, Dragon? It just feels so weird this time because I don't have a plan. I'm just like, whatever. But it's exciting. Yay! Okay, so now I just have to figure out a route. We ended up putting air in my tires and added some coolant. I really didn't have any coolant, which was a little concerning. Okay, do I go through North Dakota, Montana, or South Dakota, Wyoming? They're like the same exact time. Okay, I'm officially Got the navigation going. I'm gonna do North Dakota, Montana. Cause I don't have a reason not to. So that's the way we're gonna go. Hopefully there's not too many tolls. Um, I put avoid tolls on Google Maps because if it takes me longer, that doesn't really matter at this point. I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere. So <laughs> literally just winging it. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm super not in the mood to film, but I think these are the moments that people enjoy watching the most. Because they're the most real. Um, it's 7.50. So I don't know how long I had been driving today. Because I honestly didn't even pay attention to when I left. I think like 11.30 this morning-ish. Maybe noon. But my butt is killing me and my left arm hurts. Because apparently that's the arm I use the most while driving. So I'm in North Dakota somewhere. I'm not even sure where. Actually I do. Bismarck is where I am. Um... I'm at a Walmart. I just, I'm not really sure where to park. I just don't know. I have iOverlander, but like at night, I don't really want to be out in the middle of the woods, to be honest. <laughs> like I feel more safe at a, at a Walmart. I wanted to stay at like a rest area, but the ones through North Dakota, they, you can't park overnight, which I think is so weird. Like, because when I've gone on road trips in my car, I would pull off and sleep for a few hours overnight on my drive. Like, it feels very unsafe to not allow people to, like, park over. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe. And they didn't really have a lot of, there wasn't, like, a lot of truck stops. So I don't know. I don't know where people sleep here. But I'm at a Walmart, which I'm totally happy about because... I need to get groceries in the morning. I need to get kitty litter for the cat. Stuff like that. So um, this is actually where I wanted to be either way. Whenever I'm cooking, I just crack this window and then I have this pulling air out. So it gets pretty cold in here, especially in the winter, but I just don't know. I don't know enough about it to know when I'm gonna give myself carbon monoxide poisoning, so. Okay, so I'm gonna boil water. 
got a whole bunch of crap on my bed right now. I need to sort of clean that off. Ramen. Lots of ramen, you. And I'm gonna go to bed. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I slept so good last night. I was so tired. But, Dragon woke me up early. I need to take him out, let him out to play a little bit, but it's really cold and I don't think this Walmart is probably a good spot. I might stop at like a rest stop and take him out. Real life, van life, van gets messy so fast. There's, I mean, there's hardly anything out, but it just looks so messy. But I left my stove out with the water in the pot so I can just easily boil that because I'm just gonna make oatmeal and tea, so that's easy. And then, um, I do need to do my dishes and <laughs> and make my bed because, well, I already put my pillows back, but making your bed, I've never been one to make my bed every day, but if I don't make my bed, <clears throat> the whole van looks. Is that a bug? But the whole van looks um, demolished. So if your bed is made, it makes all the difference so I'm now one of those people who makes my bed at like the second I get out of bed and we're back from Walmart they had so much cute stuff for Christmas I really wanted to get everything but I'm trying not to buy a ton of stuff because obviously my finances are limited but I did buy myself this hat I love hats and I hardly wear them and I hardly get a chance to wear them oh it doesn't really fit Maybe I should have tried it on first. It's gigantic. Oh man. Oh wait. Can you? Oh, you can tighten it. Okay. It's only like ten dollars, but I love hats, and I can never find any that I like. Okay. Oh, now it's too tight. Perfect. Let's see, how does that look? Oh, it's cute, right? Wow! My fridge is getting so full. It's not all gonna fit. I have this cat food that needs to be refrigerated, but... Oh, rearranging. All right. It's... <laughs> Almost 11, we're finally gonna leave the Walmart. <laughs> but, I think I'm gonna try to make it to Billings, Montana tonight. Ooh, sun is crazy today, which is good. We like sunshine. I think I'm gonna try to make it to Billings, Montana tonight. And, um, and then figure out where to stay from there. I checked I Overlander. it looked like there were some good places to camp camp. I just don't know if I'm ready to like dig a hole to go to the bathroom in yet. I really enjoy the comfort of an actual bathroom. Um, so who knows, I might be at a Walmart again tonight, but I enjoy that. These braces aren't really fitting. I think I'm gonna have to go back in to get new ones again. But it said scenic view. So I pulled off. I think there's another van life person here too. I can't really tell. It's a van, but I can't really tell what's in it. But anyway, so I'm gonna take the cat out, walk the cat here a little bit. 
my drawer fell out while I was driving. <laughs> Trying to train him to understand like what this is. Come here. Come here. So he'll get excited to go outside. Good boy. Okay. Oh, his food. Man, I don't know. I did not think I took this corner quickly, but everything. Okay. Kind of went everywhere. Okay, come on. This pile of cat food. <laughs> come here, kitty. Oh, he's gonna get really scared about the cars. Usually, if I just sit in the grass, he feels kind of protected. So we'll see, but there's some grass to walk in. pretty. The sun is shining. It's literally amazing. loved it. I wasn't sure how he would fare being this close to the uh, freeway, but he liked it once he got comfortable, but it was cold. I'm a little worried for his little baby paws, but he doesn't seem bothered. He's just hydrating now. I don't know if I'm even showing him. Anyways, okay, we're gonna get back on the road. So, originally I had said I was gonna try and make it to Billings tonight, but I have a friend who lives in Whitefish, Montana, and I've been really wanting to visit her, and I actually want to go and stay there and maybe work when I have to uh, get a job. Um. I wanted to work at the ski resort. I applied for a seasonal position, but I did not hear a response. So I'm gonna assume that was a no. Uh, but I think it's a little bit out of the way. Like it's a few hours outside of my original trip. But again, I'm not really on a time frame. So I figured I'll stop there on the way See, maybe spend a day with her and then on the way home I think I might go through Salt Lake City and I have a friend who lives in Salt Lake City. Next pit stop, random kind of truck stop, nothing fancy and I again have no idea where I am. Okay. Ooh, I'm starving so I'm gonna make something. I just don't know what I want yet. I typically will use miracle noodles instead of actual noodles because they're gluten-free and super low calorie and I honestly just use whatever veggies olive oil salt pepper garlic that's it and it's so good
starting to look a little rough. I am so tired, my back is killing me. I did not want to drive this long, but I can't find anywhere to park, and I don't know how to find BLM land, and I don't know that I'm ready for BLM land. Um, it's a little scary being by myself, I'm gonna be honest. The last, like, five hours, I've just been through been in Montana on the 200, or Highway 2, I don't know what it's called, but it's 200, and it's through basically the middle of nowhere, and there's nothing. Like, there were periods of time where I was like, oh my gosh, is there gonna even be a gas station? Like, what if I run out of gas out here? But, <clears throat> so I haven't let myself get below half a tank, like, I just keep filling up when I'm seeing a gas station. Um, I think I'm at in Lewistown. I am trying to find a Walmart, but I'm still, I'm just now under two hours away. It's only 7 p.m., so it's not that late, but I just didn't care to drive as much today. I wanted to stop somewhere earlier and, like, hang out. But... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, the sun went down so early and it was so dark and there was deer all, they just hang out on the side of the freeway. So I was so terrified I was gonna hit a deer and it's just scary. I kept thinking if I break down out here, I'm by myself, I didn't have cell phone service for a while. Um, yeah, this is my first solo kind of, I'm not afraid to be alone, but I'm afraid to be alone in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> if I'm in cities and stuff, I'm totally fine, but yeah, I was a little nervous. Um, but Lady Rose the van did me well, and we're back in civilization, and I'll be somewhere where I can sleep soon. <laughs> Name a better song, I'll wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's lots of better songs. But, I finally made it! Walmart! Oh my gosh. I did not want to drive that long at all. I drove, seriously, hours and hours and hours longer than I wanted to. But, <clears throat> I, like I said before, I just did not feel comfortable trying to find some place to park. I'm sure I look terrible right now, so. And I just don't have any energy to care. But, um, there's like no rest stops, no truck stops, like not any that I could really see. It was super confusing. I'm just closing up all my window shades. I'm probably still about four hours from, maybe a little less, from Whitefish, which is where I'm going to visit my friend. So I'll, if I leave early, I can get there by the afternoon tomorrow. And I found a Planet Fitness on the way, which is open, and as far, I called them, learned my lesson last time, I called them and asked if their showers were open. He didn't specifically say yes, now that I'm thinking back to it. But he said the only things that have changed were X, Y, Z. And he named a couple of things. So that's my plan tomorrow. I think I'm really close to the Planet Fitness. So I'll go there right away in the morning. Shower. Do all that. And then go see my friend. Right now I'm just going to try and make the easiest meal. Like I'm just going to boil water. <clears throat> I'm like... I was singing along to Disney songs. Now I'm losing my voice. Um, yeah, and I'm also like up in the mountains. So it's crazy windy. So my arms are sore from like having to correct my steering wheel for four hours. And I'm sure it was beautiful. I couldn't see anything because it's pitch black up here. Um, yeah, so tomorrow will be a better day. Today was such a good day, don't get me wrong, but I wanted it to be over a lot quicker. Mm -hmm.